Hi everybody, this is a 2022 Toyota RAV4 Prime XSE. And the Prime means that this is a plug-in hybrid Toyota RAV4, a plug-in hybrid SUV. And that's kind of cool to have something that has all the space and easiness and convenience of a SUV, but up to 94 miles to the gallon equivalent with a full battery when you start. The battery pack is a lithium ion system, 18.1 kilowatt hours, which is healthy. And according to Toyota, it is mounted underneath the floor of the car. So it has no effect on uh, space inside the RAV4 itself. According to Toyota, if you start with a full battery pack and you take it easy while you drive, you'll get 42 miles of electric only driving out of the battery pack alone. That is a big healthy number. And that is what allows the mile per gallon equivalent to be over 90, 94 miles to the gallon equivalent. And according to the EPA, if you have no battery charge at all, it is 40 miles to the gallon in the city, 36 on the highway, 38 combined. Being the ever curious person that I am, I decided that I wanted to see what those numbers actually were in real life in less than ideal conditions, it must be said, and with a person that does have kind of a heavy right foot, but I actually did my own city fuel economy test and my own highway fuel economy test. Let me show you those right now. All right, I'm about to do a fuel economy test of city fuel economy. I'm gonna drive through a downtown area for uh, 10 miles or so and see what kind of fuel economy I get. This Toyota RAV4 Prime is rated at 40 miles to the gallon in the city when it is just the hybrid system. So that's one thing I'm gonna do. It is in hybrid mode. So there's not an EV battery to use and I'm not in EV mode anyway. Now on occasion, EV mode can pop up when you're coasting down or if you've charged a little bit of battery just from hybrid driving. So we'll see how close we can get to 40 miles to the gallon. Also, I am going to be using Toyota's internal fuel economy measures to see what I'm doing. Now, you could argue that that's not entirely accurate, but I think they are relatively accurate. And there's a lot of other ways you can throw inaccuracies into a fuel economy measurement just by trusting the measurement you get at the pump and how much you fill it up and on and on and on. So this is as accurate as anything without like going full on proper test and measuring fuel and all this kind of stuff. So anyway, let's see how it goes. Okay, resetting the fuel economy gauge now, and off we go. Just like a block or two away from downtown. So we'll get right into traffic right away. Engine kicked on pretty much right away. Like I said, I am in hybrid vehicle mode, not EV mode. So there will be moments where we're electric vehicle only, but not sustained. We're not using the battery pack. And the battery pack doesn't have any charge anyway. I will intend to drive normally, so on the easy side, but not hyper -miley or anything like that normally, but just, you know, trying to give this Toyota the benefit of the doubt. Okay, quick progress report. We are currently achieving 39.2 miles per gallon through a lot of start, start, city traffic, move a block, sometimes going 25 miles an hour, sometimes going 15 miles an hour, sometimes being stopped for no good reason at all. City driving, baby, we're in it. Okay, getting towards the end of 10 miles here, and as you can see, we've lost a little bit of fuel economy, 37.1 miles per gallon. Okay, real quick, I wanted to give a weather report here. It is 46 degrees according to this Toyota RAV4 Prime. And as you can see, it is raining a little bit as well, meaning it is uh, on the human side, obviously. Anyway, not ideal temperatures for the best fuel economy, but hey, this is the real world right here. All right, and the final results are 39.3 miles per gallon in the city. Again, I was in eco drive mode, HV mode, so no EV mode used, and uh, tried to take it easy, but I inherently have a pretty heavy right foot. So there you have it. And again, it's 46 degrees outside, mixed rain, sometimes raining, sometimes not. And uh, yeah, 
pretty reasonably accurate at the end of the day. There was a lot of fluctuations. Sometimes I saw as high as 42 miles to the gallon. Sometimes I saw as low as 34 miles to the gallon. You know, it's how it goes. All right, let's move on to the next test. Okay, time for a trip on the interstate. I'm going to go about 40 miles and see if I can get close to the claimed 36 miles to the gallon in hybrid mode. Let's give it a go. Still got some rain off and on. Still in the mid 40s. Going to more or less go with traffic. Setting the cruise at 75 miles an hour. There or thereabouts. Let's see how it goes. All right, coming up on the halfway point, currently averaging 29.1 miles per gallon, which is a fair amount less than 36 miles per gallon, it must be said. But uh, we'll see if we can get a little bit better going on the way back. Also, I am suspicious that we might be driving into a bit of a headwind, and that will make a tailwind on the way back. Heading back, let's see how it goes. All right, wrapping up the interstate run. Um, definitely were in a headwind going uh, the first direction because fuel economy has definitely improved coming back. The clouds have cleared up a little bit and we've gotten a little bit more temperature as well. It's now in the high 40s instead of the mid 40s. Hey, hey, hey. But uh, final results will come to you in just a moment. So there you have it, 32.3 miles per gallon and I was going right around 75 miles an hour just trying to keep up with traffic. Um, I was in the eco driving mode and I was in the hybrid, not EV mode for all of this, um, even though it says EV on the screen right there right now. So a little bit under what Toyota advertises, but I think that's a result of the lower temperature, the rainy conditions, and I was probably going a little bit faster than what uh, Toyota would consider is ideal. So there you have it. Not quite what Toyota advertises or the EPA claims, but I think that if we were in better driving conditions and I was a little easier on the throttle, we would pretty much be there. But there's also people that have a heavier right foot than me, so it gives you what I think is a decent barometer of what this thing can actually do. I'm Robin Warner. Thank you for watching. And if you are still watching, I would really appreciate it if you like this video and subscribe to my channel. Those things really do help me out quite a lot. Okay, goodbye.